There's also a dictionary. The dictionary has to be downloaded separately. I can double click a word and click on dictionary. It will then prompt me that it needs to download the dictionary. You will get this if you have never used the dictionary. Now that my dictionary is installed, I can double click the word term and click on dictionary. It will then show a definition of the word term. When I'm done, I can click on done and return to reading. I could also select a word and conduct a search for it. The search will show me every instance of the word in the whole book. To go directly to a page that contains that word, I can just click on one of those instances. It will bring me right to that page and highlight the word. That just covers reading books and interacting with the books that you're reading in iBooks. Now buying books. There's a little store button up here. If you click on that, the bookshelf turns over and brings you to the iBooks store. So you can browse books. And I'll just download an example one. If I can search for a book, I'll type in iPad user guide. I'll download that one. Click on free, click on get book. And some books do cost money. Some books do cost money. Some books do cost money, and they will deduct money from your iTunes account. You'll need to enter in your password and click on OK. Once you do that, it'll start downloading. And it also appears in your bookshelf. And then when it's done downloading, a ribbon comes around it that says new. If you click on it, the book will open up. So that's downloading books. You can rearrange the books in your bookshelf by tapping and holding and then moving them around. You can also delete books by going to edit and then selecting the X next to the book that you want to delete. Then click on delete and the book disappears from your bookshelf. Then click done. So that's just about covers books. Now we're going to talk about PDFs. There's two ways you can get PDFs on your iPod. First way is you can download it online. The second way is receiving them through email. I'm going to show you both of those instances and how each of them work. The first way I'm going to show you is online. So I'm going to open Safari, the internet browser. I'm going to go to Google. I'm going to type in iPod Touch. Whoops. iPod Touch. User Guide. PDF. And a PDF of the iPod Touch User Guide is the first result. So I'll select it. Now Safari does open 
and view PDFs. But what if you wanted to save that PDF? Well, you could save it right within iBooks without having to put it on your home screen. So now it's opening. And here's the PDF. And as I scroll through, it says what page I'm on. Now, the old way of storing PDFs is by hitting the plus button and then clicking Add to Home Screen. Then you could click on Add, it would go on your home screen, and you can view the PDF at any time, even when you're offline. But what if you had a lot of PDFs and you didn't want to junk up your home screen? What you could do is you could download it in iBooks. All you have to do is click on Open in iBooks. You will then be redirected to iBooks. And it will show you the PDF. So this is the same PDF that I was just viewing, the iPod Touch User Guide. I can scroll through it. I can enlarge and read it. I can also rotate it to make it easier to read. I also have, I still have my brightness setting, my search, and bookmark. There's also lists, so I can see each and every page. I can see contents, and I can see bookmarks. And then there's still this bottom part here where you can easily search for different pages. Now when you have a PDF, it will add this two buttons. First button will say books. Second button will say PDFs. And so your books and PDFs are separated from each other and can be easily found. Now, a bad part about iBooks is you can't really tell the names of things. So in order to tell the name of this book here, you'd have to look up at it really close. Well, they did integrate something that could help. I would like it to be a little more like the home screen, where it also has text saying the name of the book. What they did do was if you scroll up, it reveals the search bar and then viewing options. Right now, it's in grid view. I can switch it to list view. Then I can see the name of the, of the book. You can do the same for PDFs. If I go to PDFs, scroll up, I can change the view in order to see the name. I could also search for different PDFs that are on my device. Now that's getting PDFs from Safari.